All set? Let's go. To be able to understand the poor, I choose the poverty of our poor people. But I am grateful and I'm very happy to receive it in the name of the hungry, of the naked, of the homeless, of the crippled, of the blind, of the lepers, of all those people who feel unwanted, unloved, uncared, throw away of the society, people who have become a burden to the society and are shunned by everybody in their name. I accept the award. Today, I ask, with God's grace, we will be able to bring peace in the world. Could you help us understand better, especially for the next generation, what is canonization and how does someone go through the process to become canonized and become a saint? When our Holy Father, Pope Francis, announced that uh, Mother would be canonized a saint on uh, the 4th of September this year, for many in Calcutta, the immediate reaction was, but for us, Mother was always been a saint, always been a saint. But in the Catholic Church, there is a process. The normal process starts, of course, based on the life of a person, because he or she is well known, or uh, you know, of, of his or her work, and uh, whether it be work for the poor, in the field of education, whatever it be, the different types of works. But a person is considered holy. But for the Catholic Church, that holiness has to be, in a way, uh, officially recognized. And this is why the process of canonization. First, normally when a, people, when a person is, uh, is buried, etc., people go there spontaneously to pray to the person, through his or her intercession to God, of course. Ultimately, it's praying to God through his or her intercession because the person was considered close to God because of his her holy life. Normally, after five years of a person's death, the church opens the cause considered, the person considered holy, and therefore, they want to open the cause of canonization eventually, but the first one is beatification. So first, a person is called venerable. That means, you know, yes, there is uh, substantial evidence in the life of a person because of his or her work, or because of her life, teaching, etc., etc. So there is evidence of true holiness in the life of a person considered venerable. After that, the process of beatification. For that, you need a miracle, hmm. a first-class miracle, they call it. And often and normally, it's, it's a miracle of healing, which the scientists, or the doctors, the medical teams cannot explain by medical science. The healing has taken place because of divine intervention. Now, but that has to be proved. So there's a whole uh, process to do that. There's a team of uh, doctors, there's a team of uh, theologians, they get into it, get into the details, etc., etc. And then finally, the life and the miracle, etc., is submitted to what we call in Rome a department, we call the congregation for the causes of the saints is submitted to that and they work on that. The medical team declares, yes, we find something beyond our medical science, something has happened. Theologians say, yes, there is, we see God's hand in this through the intercession of the person. But the, the medical has to be through the intercession of that particular person, as it happened in the case of beatification of mother, in that uh, case of uh, Monica Besra, as you know. In India. In India. The Holy Father, declares that person blessed. So there's the beatification. Now after beatification is the final process for canonization to declare a person saint. Now that again depends on a miracle. Mm -hmm. So that miracle has to take place. And you know in the case of uh, Mother Teresa, she was beatified in 2003 mm -hmm. and it has taken now about 13 years mm -hmm. uh, to get to our 12 years, 15, mm -hmm. to recognize the miracle that was required for her canonization and that was found in uh, the Diocese of Santos in uh, Brazil, as you know. 
and everything is studied very carefully and presented to the Holy Father and he, with the help of cardinals and their advice, he declares yes. It is a process and it's a very detailed process true, true, and, it, true, true. and I didn't quite realise just how, much, how many people are involved. That's right.